really got to take care of because uh, he's a player that they're going to be looking for the Tigers in that uh, last quarter when they kick with the breeze and if he can get a couple against the breeze he's going to make it very very hard for Wodonga well there's the scores now 8-6-54 Wodonga leading 7-8-50 and only four points in a great game they played 11 and a half minutes into this third quarter the tap away that time to Allen, but it's punched there again by Wodonga. But coming in, trying to get his hand to the ball that time was Connors. Can't do so. Peter Cross comes in, gets his boot to the ball. Leading in the race to the ball this time was Tommy Doolan. Runs around onto his left foot, screwy old kick that time. Taken away there by the Wodonga defence. Coming out here, getting the set underneath the ball is Johnny Collins. He gets the ball, wins it well, comes around, drops it onto his right foot. They go forward with Ivan Ross Henley. Oh, punched away beautifully that time by the big fellow in Corelli. And that's great defensive footballer from the uh, Ovens of Murray, best and fairest player. You see the class of champions, don't you, Too Bruce? right you do, and it's grand finals and great games of football like we're seeing here today that it comes out. And there's Coelho again, getting the handball out, leading in the race to ball that time is Parry. He almost gets uh, unloaded that time. Coming in and trying to pick it up as Wheeler, but the umpire says, thank you very much, I'll have it, boys. You're not making much progress with it. And he's going to ball up now, uh, just around about the central wing position, uh, between the central wing and the centre of the ground. A great game of football in absolutely perfect conditions. We hope you're enjoying the game, the replay of the game on Channel 4. There's Wheeler now trying to get through with the ball. Can't do so. Picked up that time by Rickson. He can't clear with the ball, but he gets a handball out there towards Hensel. Hensel drives it forward. Bob Craig's got the sit and comes in. Gets the ball that time in front of Byatt. Out positioning that time. Used his body well and took a fine mark at around about uh, centre half on the half back flank, right in the corner of the diamond. Bob Craig now. He's going to come in, take his kick. Drive the Bulldogs right into attack again. It's a good kick too. Players set themselves. Up they fly. Punched away for that time uh, from uh, Smith. Taken out there, leading in the race. The ball is Wartman, and he gets a little short chip, and that must have been the bare 10 metres, I reckon, Graham. I'd say about uh, nine and three quarters if you wanted to step it off. But here's uh, a chance now for another goal on the board. I think we'll have to give this umpire a Lufkin rule for <laughs> on football. I think we might. There's the kick going in towards goal now. The goal umpire moves around, but no, oh, it's full points on the board. All clear. And another valuable goal going on the board for Wodonga. But by golly, I tell you what, we've got to uh, follow that up with a couple of quick runs because as uh, Graham said earlier in the corner, this is where Wodonga, if they've got the breeze, they've got to get that advantage. They've got to kick those goals. There's 7 6 60, 10 points in front at the moment. Another couple of quick goals here, and I tell you what, it's going to be uh, pretty difficult for the Tigers. Oh, a bad bounce that time from the umpire. Punched away that time by Connick. Coming and trying to get it out that time is Wayne Perry. He can't get clear with the ball. Stacks on the mill, and the umpire is going to take a bounce just uh, on the Wodonga side of the centre. Here's the umpire now as the sunshine streams down here at the Lavington Sports Ground. Ideal conditions. Tapped away that time by the big fellow in Allen. Picked up that time by Headley. Out there towards Collins. He can't pick up the ball. Headley's in there doing battle, but oh, taken away nicely that time by their player in Reed. Raswede's kick now up towards Ford. Here's Byatt coming out. Runs around onto his right foot. Shoots a chip in towards uh, uh, McNeil that time, but he can't get the ball. Recovers well. Beautiful hand pass over there towards Reed, but he gets dispossessed. Coming in to try to get the ball this time is Dickinson. He gets unloaded as well. And uh, what's the umpire going to do here? It's going to be a free kick play to Aubrey, and this could be a very, very important one for them. As the little fellow, the champion rover this time, comes in for a kick drop up. Would this be about 35 to 40 metres out, I guess, Graham? Yes, he's not that far out, Bruce. Uh, I, think, I think that was a, a reasonably charitable free kick because there's been a lot of them all day. There's Dickinson's kick going towards goal. The goal up by hasn't had to move, and that's the first goal on the board for Dickinson. And uh, that's the answering one. And by gee, I tell you what, they're still plugging away at Wodonga. Make it very hard for them. Coming up now with uh, four points in offense. 9 6 60 to 8 8 56 and a pretty entertaining quarter of football though graham a great third quarter top quarter the game's opened itself out a little bit uh, i think the players have sort of okay it might have taken them a while to settle down but the first quarter was scrambly the second quarter was a good solid game by wodonga against the breeze and uh, this quarter a good quarter by albury against the breeze too That's right. here's collins now trying to pick up the ball can't do so coming through as peter cross he tries to get a handball away can't do so this puts uh, greg wood in the box he comes in there gets a kick away but it's taken by big Trevor leslie oh it's a dreadful kick cut off there this puts the wodonga backman under pressure but out comes the one of the best players on the ground and terry doolan 
Drives it forward, getting a set underneath at that time was Terry Cross. He taps it away. Loose, still leads the race to the ball, but there's a champion centre man, Evan Cotty. Comes in, drives a left foot, kick up towards the centre of the ground. A mark taken that time. No play on, says the umpire. As that time we saw Alan get his boot to the ball. Up there, flying for Aubrey was Walls. He gets dispossessed. Coming up, picking it up as a champion. Wheeler runs around onto his right foot, chips the shot, went out. Headley's underneath it. He's got the ball right of a half forward flag. Here's Stephen Headley now with an opportunity of putting that answering goal on the board in the 17 minute mark of this third quarter. And I tell you what, it's been a great game of football. Bruce, just before Stephen Headley kicks, there's the difference. Wheel is a top driver. Dickinson's hardly done a thing for all That's Aubrey. right. And look at that kick of Headley's. Goes across the face of goal. One point only. And that makes them 9 7 now. 9 7 to 8 8. So it's uh, one goal, uh, just under one goal, the difference. And uh, I tell you what, it's a very, very exciting game of football here at the moment. Hope you're enjoying it, watching it at home. Here's the ball coming out now towards our broadcast position. Players fly high. Who's going to be paid the mark? Big Trevor Leslie gets up there. Drives his boot into the ball, but always 20 up and 30 down as he gets it in there. Players set themselves and a champion's mark there. Evan Connick really getting on top in this particular part of the quarter. It looks like they put Parry on him now, Bruce. That's right, they have too. Yes, Wayne Parry's on there, but there's Leslie getting his umpteenth kick away. Oh, here's danger now for... Uh, wrong the foot, they come wrong in. foot. Wrong foot, and he comes in and drives it through. And it's a beautiful goal that time. Beautiful goal of the Donga. And that's off the boot of um, David Turner, was it? Just trying to pick up that player. Yes, David Turner. Yes, David Turner. He's a left footer too, Bruce. Yeah, that was his wrong. So I said wrong foot. Wrong and, uh, foot. As cool as you like. Yes, it was a beautiful He's playing goal. centre half forward. Yes, I noticed they shifted him out. It looks like, uh, what, Peter Sharp's gone to full no, forward. he's going back now. He's Bruce. going back yeah, now. So Ireland's still at centre half forward. So Wheeler's have... on the half forward flank. That's right, and uh, there's Turner now. Must have come down to a bit of a yarn about that one, I think. Punched away again from a knock around of the centre. The standing firm that time is on Corelli. He gets the knock down before he can get the ball away. Leading in the race for the ball is Madonga. I'd say the umpire will be picking it up uh, in a moment. No, it's taken away there by Aubrey. Out there in the wing towards David Dillon. He can't get the ball over. Leads in the race, flips over, picks it up, drives it around now. Up forward again. Coming out leading the race. The ball is filled by, but there's Wood uh, intercepting. But no, play on, says the umpire. And it's going to be out over the boundary line for a throw in, just up in the forward pocket position in the Orby attacking zone. And the uh, breeze still uh, still favouring that uh, this uh, far end of the ground. Here's Orby now, trying to go into attack again, but they can't get a clear break on the ball. A very rough passage of play over there. And uh, the umpire is going to pull up the play, and says, I'll take the ball. And it's going to, <laughs> the players still having a bit of a spell over there, I think, uh, Brian. They're lying down yeah. on the job. I think the pace has dropped off a little bit at this particular stage of the game. There's a big punch away from Aubrey. Up there towards Bates. He tries to get his hand to the ball. Can't do so. Wodonga defence comes through again. But running over the boundary line. And the boundary umpire right on the ball up there. They'll throw it in just a little closer this time to the Aubrey attacking zone. Bruce, I was just going to say that the pace has quickened well, because I, the, I think the players have, have got themselves more settled and they're teaming better and possibly talking better in this third quarter. Well, that might be what it is. They're probably moving the ball a bit better and the players are getting the ball away, not run, perhaps running so far with it. Here's a chance now for Terry Cross as he comes in, but it's taken away there by his teammate. Shoots over towards the central wing position. Leading in the race of the ball this time is Wodonga through Cotty, but he can't get his hands to the ball and it's taken out over the boundary line. That was the Johnny Collins rather. Uh, Collins and uh, Raz Reed had a great go for the ball then, but it beat them both out over the boundary line. Up they go, big tap away to Leslie, trying to get the kick away that time as Rickson, he can't do so. Leading in the race of the ball this time is Jay McNeil, he comes in, can't get it away, going to be a free kick played to uh, David McLeese, he's been reasonably quiet this quarter so far. Oh, Headley. McLeese, a beautiful kick out to Headley, all he's on, he's got a panic to run in. Henley comes in, drives it over towards uh, Wheeler. Wheeler goes up one over and all gets unloaded that time by Corelli. Here's Henley backing up well again. Gets a left foot kick up towards the uh, scoring zone again. Players set themselves. Turner's there. Over the back of the pack. Almost gets the mark. Play on, says the umpire. Good, strong defence that time by Aubrey. Here's Wharton leading in the race. The ball beating him to it, getting his boot to it first was Dickinson. Goes over towards the boundary line. Players to pounce on top of the ball. If ball's still in play, this allows Wadonga to come in, pick it up this time through Wells. He gets a kick away up towards full forward again, flying for this time over the back, oh it's in the van this time as Madonga comes in through their full forward in turn, but he can't get his boot to the wall cleanly and it goes through for one point only who knows though, those points might be pretty valuable before this game's finished, Graham two goals is not enough yet Bruce and we're 21 minutes into the third quarter you'd like to see Wodonga kick another couple if they're going to have any uh, chance of hanging on that last turn yes I think they need a couple at this stage even though they played well in that second quarter Right, in they come now. Big Rod Corelli gets caught for the ball. Caught for the ball, yeah. Definitely caught for the ball. Great decision that time. 
Here's Stephen Headley, who uh, has only played one quarter of football, but he's one of the best men on the ground of the month. Flying over the Played it. Yes, he's going to pay the mark. What a great, but Jewel feats of good marking in this particular quarter. And this is uh, the big fella there in Peter Sharp now. Peter Sharp going back to take his kick. A great mark. We saw him take some uh, some big grabs in the final last week too. And by gee, that was one of the good marks as you saw just then. There's Peter Sharp coming in, driving it right through. That's his second goal for the match. And that takes him on now to a, a little more healthy score the dog. Uh, I know Graham has said he wants to see him get a couple of goals. If they're going to have any chance of getting into the staying with this game and what's going to be obviously a very, very hard attacking quarter for all to 11, 8, 74 leads, 8, 8, 56. And that was a great mark again, Graham. Yes, tremendous football by Wodonga. I'd still uh, stick with that story, though. I still think two goals, Bruce, they need yet. And if they've got five at three-quarter time, they're in with a big show. That's right. Here's the ball being returned back to the simple umpire now, who's done uh, a pretty good job here this afternoon in a good hard game of football. Has joined me in the uh, commentary situation now. Is uh, Jimmy Robertson coming in? And I guess he's been pretty impressed with this third quarter of football team. Up they go. Tapped away this time by Wodonga. Taken away that time by McLeish. But he gets dispossessed. It's going to be a free kick paid this time over there in the uh, centre of the ground to... Uh, to uh, Peter Cross. Peter Cross now with the ball. Drives Orby into attack again. They fly. Oh, the beautiful mark taken that time by Daryl Bates. And <laughs> that time, uh, Daryl Bates came out. He hurt the hard ball that time. And uh, he also had to uh, also had to contend with a pretty hefty old chub there from Wayne Prendergast. But here's Daryl Bates now, right on the corner of the diamond, and around about the centre-half forward position, going in to take his shot for goal right now. Daryl Bates, he's already kicked, already kicked four, right in this corner. Daryl Bates, it's a beautiful kick, but all it's going across, and I don't think it's going to go through. No, one point only, one point only, and there's a let off of the dog. Well, Jim, what a great third quarter of football we've seen here, and a uh, pretty good attack by Wodonga, and uh, Aubrey, they just make it uh, a little bit awkward for them. I scored a couple of goals in this quarter. Yes, well, Wodonga uh, have been fortunate in this regard that Aubrey have uh, led to their own downfall in numerous occasions. Leslie's led to the scoring flank and Buckle, the full back, has kicked it out to the uh, to the scoring flank and this has let Wodonga in on quite a few occasions. That's right. Here's Orby now through their uh, big champion down there in uh, Corelli trying to get the ball away but it's picked up by Headley who's been a champion since he came on the ground, shoots it into a goal! And what a magnificent goal! That would have to be the goal of the match, Jim. That is an absolute gem of a goal. And Stephen Headley, who came onto the ground at half time in this third quarter, came in there, grabbed that ball, drove it forward, and that would just about have to be the goal of the match, Jim. Yes, it was a beautiful goal by Headley. I um, was watching the game before, and I can't quite work out who the, is supposed to be picking up Headley. Headley's been running wild on this half forward flank, and uh, he's been let run loose. And uh, well, He's been a damaging player. My word, he has, and the halfback flanker on him, it looks like Terry Cross at the moment, whether he's just been changed onto him, but uh, he's been having a field day on that half-forward flank. Uh, That's Headley. right. And there's great going now as they come in, setting himself underneath the ball and taking a nice mark that time is Terry Cross. Terry Cross now at centre-half back for the Tigers, driving them forward again, kicks the ball up towards the centre of the ground, players underneath the ball, comes over the back that time where we see, uh, oh, could have been a free kick that time for in the back, but no play on, says the umpire. There's McLeish, comes in, wins the hard ball, drives it out there towards Grote. He can't grab the ball, but he's well backed up, recovers well, and there's a bit of <laughs> ah, a bit of a heavy discussion going on down there between a couple of players. Uh, Walls that time, and uh, rather Wayne Parry and uh, and David McLeish having. Uh, well, Parry's a few in the words. centre, of course, and uh, right. they've taken David Doolan out of the centre. Connick has been uh, winning hands down there, That's and right. uh, David Doolan on the half forward flank. That's right. So, well, they've had to make those changes, and here's the umpire now at the ball and the half forward position on the half forward flank to Wodonga, up it goes, tapped away this time by Leslie, hits the ground, McLeish is in there again, breaks through the pack, oh, could be too high, yes, there's a free kick to David McLeish, he handballs quickly on now over towards Walsh, Walsh gets a beautiful kick up towards full forward, players set themselves over the back of the pack, there's Turnaman, it's punched away from him, coming in is Headley again, Headley comes in, picks up the ball, runs around, gets caught with it, could have been too high, but play on says the umpire, this allows Orby to come in now through Wayne Perry, Perry drives the ball down forward again, punched this time by the Wodonga defence coming in leading the race the ball is Tom Dillon but it's coming in now as Wood coming into the back of the pack and backing up well that time was um, was a player that time in Pendergast he can't get the ball away kick taken away this time by Frank Reynolds drives it down forward players set themselves punched away nicely that time by Stephen Buckle away from the waiting hands of uh, of uh, young Henry that time and I think Aubrey will wake up that they've got to keep a pretty tight rein of this player Jim 
Yes, well, it's about time they did because they've uh, been letting the Wodonga forwards mark too well. They've got to put that fist in and get that ball away from the big hands of the uh, Wodonga high markets. That's right. There's a free kick now being played down there to young Gavin Rickson, champion rover for the Tigers. Rickson now in the back pocket position, coming in, goes towards the centre of the ground. Players set themselves over the back of the pack. Oh, yes, a nice mark that time, taken uh, by uh, Brett Allen. He had his name on that one. Brett Allen now coming in to drive the Bulldogs into attack again. Goes towards centre half forward. Players set themselves. Get push out that time. Corelli can't get his hands to the ball. Ball goes to go. Pick it up this time as Wheeler runs in towards goal. And it's there. Right through the middle. That's the one that the Bulldogs are looking for. And that's a Wheeler's second goal of the match. And that's a pretty vital one, I'd say, Jim for Wodonga in the dying stages of this quarter. Yes, well, Wodonga has scouted the packs uh, a lot better than the Orby side. The Orby Rovers today have hardly been sighted in comparison. Wheeler, he's the one that's doing the damage. But the Orby Rovers very, very down, particularly Dickinson. He hasn't read the play at all today. No, that's right. Wheeler and uh, uh, Connick, they're getting right on top and getting that ball away. There's a nice tap for Leslie. Goes out towards Peter Cross. He can't get the ball. Coming in there as Wheeler. Grab too high, says the umpire. And the... Uh, He's a tenacious little player, this fella. Gets a handball away over there towards the dashing Johnny Collins. Collins comes around on his right foot. Looking in there towards Henley. Henley gets the ball, runs around the player on his mark. Gets a kick away that time. Goes up towards goal. Players set themselves. Punched away. Out over the boundary line. As we're into time on now in this third quarter. 38, 86, late 9, 57. You've only got to look at it now. Henley is 15 metres away from uh, Terry Cross. And Terry Cross making no attempt to pick him up. It's very bad defence. Here as we speak now, Gavin Rickson comes in. Gets his boot to ball. Drives it in there, but all the waiting arse. What's he going to do? Play the man in front. Oh, it's going to be, uh, yes, play the Orby, and rightly so that time. Good decision by the umpire that time. Young uh, Alan thought that he had the ball, but uh, the umpire making the right decision, playing it to the man in front, and the man in front, I think, is... Uh, I think that's a very goal. hard 15 metre, as a matter of fact, because the player generally thought he had the mark. Oh, there's a shocking kick that time. Coming in there towards Darrell Bates. He slips over, runs out of bounds with the ball. Runs out of bounds with the ball, it's and out of bounds. Bates is at centre half forward, uh, Tom Dillon at full forward. That's right, well there's a change. Bates of course has kicked uh, four goals, he's had uh, two or three other shots, he would have kicked one about four or three, Jim, probably, would he? He has kicked yes, two or three got points. Four goals, yeah. yeah. He's kicked uh, two or three points as well. There's the boundary umpire setting the play in action again. No one gets a clear knockdown that time. Ball comes out to Wodonga's advantage. Leading in the race of the ball this time is David McLeish. Wins the hard ball well. Drives it down centre half ball again. But there he is, the big champion, Corelli, right down there at centre half back. Gets the ball away. Drives the Tigers into attack, but coming through is Greg Wood. Oh, caught with the ball that time. Play on, says the umpire. No, free kick. Grab without the ball. There's the Bodonga now coming through through their player that time in growth. Drives it out here to where we see the dashing Johnny Collins put them up into attack again. Flying high. Oh, Allen was up that time. But this allows uh, Terry Cross to come in, get the ball. And uh, Terry Cross got one for his corner that time. Yeah, well, I don't the really agree with that free kick. I know Terry Cross got one in the head, but by the same token, the player came through hips and shoulder. And, uh, it's not really the player's fault if Terry Cross happens to and, be... Uh, uh, there's a bit, of a, box, a bit of a box on down here at the moment and everyone's having a bit of a smack and an argument down there. And that's a pity, really, because it's been a good game of football and the umpire wants to keep all this rot right under control because it's been a good spectacle so far, Jim. And, uh, and the free kick now being played the other way. It's being played the other way to, to uh, Greg Wheeler. Well, that was a foolish move that time, uh, by Aubrey to, uh, to be any part of that because if they're going to get on top yes, of this well, game, they're going to play one. football. Well, that's the sign of a frustrated football side, so particularly Taylor was the instigator of that, and uh, I've been right. critical of Taylor. He hasn't put his fist in for the uh, when the ball's gone for the punch, and there is again. And uh, once again... A clear uh, mark, beautiful mark that time of Sharp, but he just hasn't gone the punch. They didn't do this in the first quarter, Jim. No, they're letting Wodonga do as they like down that forward line. If you're a back man, you've got to hit him hard, you've got to punch that ball away, and this is something that the Albany defence just hasn't done, and it's been a great quarter as far as Wodonga's right, concerned. Right, well, the siren has gone, and in comes uh, Sharp now to have a shot for goal. I think it might have gone across the face of goal, and that makes it 13-9, 86 to 8 9, 57. Well, we saw a very, very good game of football. The umpire, as a matter of fact, is still uh, to, he's talking to Peter Taylor, coming up. And Evans and Murray, football premiers, 30 points the difference. In the favour of Wodonga, but Aubrey have the big breeze as umpire Bryan puts the ball down and Leslie gets the big tap down towards his half-forward line, picked up by uh, the Aubrey player in Dickinson. Couldn't get rid of the ball, 
And Central Empire Bryant will ball it up just wide of the central position. Once again, it's the big fella, Leslie goes up, couldn't get the tap, picked up by Big Tom Doolan, the ball held to him, and it's desperate football as Aubrey try to break clear here in the final term. Up they go, this time it's Allen that gets the tap, in comes Connick, he couldn't get rid of the ball, finally picked up by Great. Wodonga go forward, up towards their half forward line, the ball bounces awkwardly, it's all Wodonga, but Wall's coming through hard, oh he's unloaded, good football by Wodonga, Connick comes in, a hand pass to Wheeler, and the shot for goal, and a mark to Wodonga, and here's Wodonga coming home in the final term, as Turner marks the ball about five metres out from goal, and this has been the downfall of the Orby side. They haven't been able to look after Turner. He's kicked their fourth, fifth, eighth and tenth goal. Now lining up for their 14th as he comes in. Shoots for the big timber. And there it is. And that's six goals, the difference. And Brian, that was one goal that the Tigers didn't want Wodonga to get. Well, the Tigers have had too many players down, I think, in the second half, especially Jim, in the third quarter. And uh, coming into this last quarter, I think that's the difference. The Rovers, to me, have been the key to the game. Wheeler then, he's got himself up uh, from a, a reasonable first half to a brilliant third quarter. And he started off this last quarter. And he's the player that's really put fire into Wodonga today by really boring in, running around the packs. And it's uh, really lined up now for a good 28 minutes from here in with uh, six goals of difference. Yes, and it's Alan that gets the tap out. Hensel comes through. Finally gets his uh, boot to the ball. Down towards the half forward line. Parry over runs it. Out comes Wood. He comes and grab the ball, a Wodonga player uh, grabs Hensel and Hensel takes the free kick onto the left foot, down to big Darrell Bakes, he flies high and the mighty Tiger at the full forward position takes a big mark to line up the goal from 10 metres out directly in front. Jim, I see a smile on your face. You, they've got the wind and uh, this is an answer one to the one that puts it five and this is a most important kick by Bakes. Yes, he's kicked their third, fourth, fifth and seventh goal and now he has... Uh, he has kicked their ninth goal, and there's another major on the board for the Tigers as they fight back here in the final term with a score. Wodonga, 14 goals, 9-93, leading Aubrey, 9 goals, 9-63. But that goal that Wodonga got might be a very, very hard goal for Aubrey to get back. Young Hensel's the uh, the instigator there. Twice uh, Hensel pushed himself in with guts and determination and uh, for being an 18-year-old, uh, he showed maturity in the in the way that he went in and uh, like Aubrey can thank Hensel uh, for the uh, getting that goal and uh, getting them back into the game because, let's face it, we set a four-goal breeze and they've got to be back into the game even though there's uh, five goals of difference. As the ball's in motion once again, this time Allen wins the tap out, picked up by Terry Cross and the Tigers go into attack down to Byatt and Byatt has marked about 35 metres out from goal. He's usually a fairly reliable kick. He's kicked uh, two goals here this afternoon. Another goal now would put the Albee side right in the firing line for 1981 Premiers. Byatt, the forward pocket player, comes in, shoots for the big timber and oh, the goal umpire's moving across. Well, he moved across, had a look at it, and then moved back. And, uh, you should in. get an Oscar for that one. Yes, my word. He uh, led everybody into believing that it was going to be a goal. And there's an expensive miss as Reynolds now comes in from the full-back position. And he's kicking out to the defensive flank on the far side of the ground. Gibbons is on the ground, punches the ball away. Maybe we can pick up who's off the ground. The umpire's picked out a free kick. And... Um, well, that was a funny free kick going to Gibbons, but nevertheless, the tough fella's on the ground, and he could give Aubrey a little bit of bite in this final term. Jim, Get I don't want to be a knocker, but two umpires today uh, could have uh, been the proof of the thing here that, that we, we should have two umpires. Well, that's definitely what a great mark. That was a good pressure mark from Bobby Craig as he gets the ball out to Smith. Smith under pressure, and uh, that was bad football after Craig took such a great mark. And here's the halfback flanker for the Aubrey side in Terry Cross, lining up for a goal. Oh, it's Tom Doolan. I'm getting excited there, uh, Graham. Tom Doolan. Well, I thought you might have the Tigers <laughs> forward line. There's Tom Doolan. It's, it's there, what a kick. And, uh, there's a great goal from the boot of the, of the big Tiger. And, uh, Graham, that's the sort of goal that a team looks for. 
from their captain coach. That's a lifter, and uh, by the way, just saying, we said an expensive miss by Bryant, but if you have a look at the scoreboard with 14-9 uh, to 10-10, if Aubrey uh, get those goals up, the uh, that one point could be the difference. That's quite right, Graham, as the ball's back in the centre, and uh, the Ruckman fly once again, and this time Allen winning out in the centre, gets the tap out, but the Rovers can't do anything with it, and the umpire ball it up once again. The odds slightly in Wodonga's favour, as the ball is set in motion once again at the five minute mark of the final term. Here they go. It's Allen winning the tap out once again. He's rucked well here, been a great player for them, but Mark Ryan for the Tigers breaks loose down to the barrel, breaks and up they go. And, and it's five runs loose, running into goal. He better kick it. It's a major. It's there. And Byrd has kicked their 11th goal. He's a useful forward pocket player. Yes, well, I must admit that. Uh, Phil Byatt certainly made a, a fool of me this year because I said right at the start of the season that I don't think you can have a forward pocket, but he has been a, a magic player, really. Uh, when they need a goal, he's there. Uh, early this game, he was out of the game, but he certainly, uh, uh, and I know his dad up there at uh, Tim Telfer will be saying, you know, good on you, Phil, but uh, that's all we can say, too, is he's really shown us that he has got that ability to lift the side from a forward pocket and he's a very damaging player when he runs loose. I tell you what, he was lucky he was running away from the umpire because he ran his full 15 metres as Aubrey going to attack once again through Peter Cross. There goes the punch. Craig Wood comes in. Tony Heather's in there trying to pick up the ball. Can't do so. And central umpire Brian will ball it up on the Aubrey half forward line. Big Tom Doolan trying to... Uh, gather his troops there at the centre half forward position the umpire hasn't bounced the ball well here this afternoon as Leslie gets the uh, tap out however it's picked up by Allen down towards the half back line all be players oh. clash all bad football there as Connick drives forward Taylor's in front and uh, but it's almost uh, Mark there played on Taylor gets the hand pass towards Coelli he gets the uh, boot on and it's uh, Terry Dolan once again he's grabbed almost holding the ball as Ooh, Heather gets the ball, oh, there's a nasty one. Oh. Wheeler cop one there, and Byatt gets the ball, gets it across to Terry. Court. Play on, says the umpire. No, caught. And the free kick will go once again to Wayne Prendergast. Prendergast now on the half-back line, gets the ball up towards his centre forward position. Over the back is Coelli. What a great footballer and what a worthy Morris medalist. I don't know about you, one of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. That's right. As the bearded wonder gets the ball, puts it up towards oh, the half forward nice. line. Hey, he's a wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Heather gets the ball, breaks loose, shoots a hand pass out to Peter Cross. He's on his left foot, goes goalward. And it's there. What a final quarter. What a final quarter, Graham. As Aubrey now go to 12 goals, 10. 12 10 to the Tigers, 14 9 to Wodonga. Well, watching this replay, it'd possibly be now, I'd say, the early hours of the morning. I don't imagine those Tiger supporters are really the ones that haven't been here today uh, at the game. They'll be, they'll be ecstatic now with uh, the score 14-9 to 12-10, and we're still talking about that little one point. Yes, my word, there's the ball in the centre once again. It's Leslie, goes towards Wheeler, he's caught, and it's dropping the Good ball. Decision. Good decision. Courage decision, Jim. Yes, my word. Here's the ball now, down towards the Aubrey forward line. Players set themselves. Up goes Bakes, almost a mark. In comes the power, gets the ball across to Tom Dolan. He slips at the vital moment. Heather coming in, looking for the overflow. Can't get it. Wodonga battling, trying to get the ball away. Out towards Robbie Grote. He loses the run of the ball. Picked up by Byatt. He goes goalward. Up to the full forward zone. Heather goes high, but a very strong, courageous mark in the last line of defence by Robbie Craig. Craig now in that last line of defence with the ball, puts it up towards his own centre half back position. Up go the Cross brothers, looking for the overflow, but taken away by Connick. Good out ball. towards Walsh, good football by Wodonga. Down towards their full forward position. Over the back is Wartman. Can he get his boot to the ball? No. And it's good for touch. Oh. Touch oh. Well, Wodonga got that point back. Well, the Graham. cameras had a close up that time and. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, goal on was in a better position than we were. There's the kick from Buckle. It's a beauty. Coelli. Up to Coelli. I think Dick, uh, Rick, uh, Dickinson got in the way then as uh, Connick goes loose down towards the forward line. And a beautiful mark to Wodonga out on that half forward line as they break. Going to break loose. There's the play on now. Good footballers. Wodonga going to attack. It's their turn. Up towards that full forward zone. Over the back of the pack. 
And it's a oh, foul. He's missed. he's missed. Oh, what a miss. What a vital miss. And uh, he had all the time in the world, Graham, as the score now goes to Wodonga. 14 goals, 11, 95. At Wodonga, Aubrey now, 12 goals, 10, 82. There's the kick in out to the far side of the ground. Collins leading in the race for the ball. My word, he's showing a ton of pace and he gets his boot to the ball. Not a good kick. Underneath it is Hensel. He couldn't mark it. He plays on well. Battling on well. Groats there. Throws himself on top of the ball. Picked up by Terry Cross. Up towards Tom Doolan. What I'm going to fence as Wood comes away. Out towards uh, Groat once again. He gathers it in well. Puts it onto his left foot. And a ball almost a mark to Allen on free that kick. occasion. Could have been a free kick. Walsh comes in. Can't do so. Coelli... Tries to push the ball further afield. Picked up by Wodonga, by Wartman. Down towards the full forward zone. Buckles there. And what a mark. Oh, what a great pressure mark. Play on. Play on, says the umpire. As Wartman comes in, bad football, but picked up by Buckle. Lucky for the Aubrey side as Hensel comes in. Can't get it. Picked up once again by McLeish. Could have almost been holding the ball on that occasion. In comes Mark Ryan, but beautifully picked up by the big fellow in Ireland. He goes Goldwood. And there is Peter Quart. Turner. A beautiful mark to Turner. And Wodonga fighting back here in this final term. Mark as Ryan. Ryan. As very, Aubrey very seemed to have Jim. the run on, and Mark Ryan not looking too good for the Aubrey combination. Waiting now for Turner. And Turner has kicked the fourth, fifth, eighth, tenth, and fourteenth goal for Wodonga. Lining up for his 15th goal directly in front. Been a great full forward today, Graham. Well, Turner showed what a full forward should do, and it shows why he's the top full forward in the ovens of Murray. Because of the fact that what he does is the chances he gets, he kicks goals, and that's the name of the game. Good as many He's a left footer. A lot of people say left footers aren't accurate kicks, but David Turner, he's a champion, and I tell you what, I'd like to see David Turner down on the big sticks uh, down at the VFL very shortly because I think he's got the temperament, he's got the ability, and uh, he's also got that little bit of class that, that makes VFL footballers. Yes, Wardonga now leading, they're getting away from Orby again, 15 11, 101. To the Tigers, 12 goals, 10-82. The Tigers will need a quick couple of quick goals and their Rovers will have to get that ball away from the centre. There's the bounce once again going to Wheeler that gets it away. He's been a dangerous player. Down towards Turner and this time Taylor puts the fist in. Gets it towards Gibbons. He's ridden into the ground and Peter Gibbons will take the penalty free kick for the Tigers. He sees the short pass. There's a dangerous one but it comes off and the mark taken by Terry Cross. Terry Cross now with the left foot looking for Tom Doolan down to the centre half forward position as Byatt, the mark of the day as Byatt flies high at the centre half forward position. Phil Byatt coming right up from the uh, forward pocket and he's marked at the true centre half forward position. He'll put it down looking for big uh, Darrell Bakes. Here's a kick from the boot of Byatt. It's going to be way astray through for one behind only as Aubrey go to 12 goals 11.83. Trailing Wodonga, 15-11, 101, and we're now at the 13-minute mark of the final quarter. Oh, what a grand final. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, Jim, but the excitement up here with the people around us is magnificent. Well, everybody's had their money's worth here this afternoon as Peter Cross drags that big mark in to put the Tigers back into attack. He'll look for Darrell Bakes, who leads out. He's been hassled over the back of the pack. By it, couldn't quite get it. That's... Uh, Heather comes to the ball, could have been holding the man, but the ball is out and over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. It's a hectic, tense last quarter here. Can Aubrey get up or can Wodonga hold on at the 14 minute mark of this final term? There's the uh, throw in as uh, picked up by Prendergast. Oh, almost a high tackle on that occasion. In comes Reed. he couldn't get it. And the umpire ball it up about 15 metres out from the Aubrey goal. Well, Aubrey need a goal here now and the crowd will go berserk because um, we'll be kicking with a slight breeze here. Got the crowd, I think you will, Jim. <laughs> well, there's Tom Doolan, but it's once again, it's... Uh, oh, good football. Well, that was a doubtful decision. I thought a it was doubtful a doubtful decision, but he, he had the guts to go in and get the ball when he was... Yes, on. but I thought he had it when he was grabbed. But anyway, he's probably best player on the ground here this afternoon as he puts the ball out to the far side of the ground. In front is uh, McLeish, but it picked up by uh, oh, Leslie. Cool, he Leslie. couldn't get rid of it. He tried to punch it, said the umpire, and uh, the big fella has been given the benefit of the doubt midfield. Waiting for the ball up once again. Allen and uh, Leslie, and it's Leslie that wins the tap out on this occasion. All be trying to break through through the agency of Hensel on that occasion. Couldn't do so. It's desperate stuff as players throw themselves on top of the ball. 
Tim, I think at this stage too, we should congratulate the Ovens of Murray for making Lavingham the venue because uh, have a look around. There's not a person who can't see the game. Well, and that's most right. people are seated. Well, that's dead right too. And the people are thoroughly enjoying the facilities here at the Lavingham Sports Club Oval. Ball up once again. Hectic final term. Wodonga holding on to this slender lead as we'll be battling in the final term with a slight breeze. And they're going into attack this time through the agency of a high tackle to Philip Reid. Reid now wastes no time. Puts the ball up towards Bates and he comes out and takes the mark. Darrell Bakes now with five majors on the board. He comes in 20 metres out and another goal here would be a vital one for the boot of the big tiger. Coming in now, Darrell Bakes shoots for the big timber and I don't think it's uh, missed, it's there. Well, that's a very valuable goal, the 13th major. And the strange feature of this game is, Graham, that both full forts have performed particularly well here and they've had the call over their respective full backs and neither team has been able to quieten the opposition full forward. This has been one of the great grand finals, Dim, and I think uh, not only that, the 12 points, the difference, the breeze favouring Albury. I mean, what could you want after the second semi-final? A lot of people came here and said, Albury, Albury, Albury. But uh, by G. Wodonga have come off the bottom uh, two weeks ago. They've come up last week, beat Wangaratta Rovers, and they've come out here today, and they're still in this with a chance. 12 points in front, and that's that score on the boards, the thing. That's right. Well, once again... That's the result of a bad uh, bounce up in the centre and Orbea got the advantage through a good tackle. Here comes Peter Cross with the ball now, looking for Darrell Bakes. Up they go. Oh, a beautiful mark over the back. And I noticed that uh, Wodonga are throwing Walsh down the back line. Craig, who is limping, has gone to the forward pocket. And Peter Cross, uh, uh, Gibbons up there. He can't get it. Terry Cross is in there as uh, Reed comes in. He's grabbed. Play on, says the umpire. This, uh, yes, as Headley goes forward, but Peter Taylor, one of the few occasions he's been in front of his opponent, has taken the mark. Taylor now with the ball out to the far side of the ground, looking for Big Leslie. Over the back of the pack, it's Connick, and Connick taking the well-judged mark. Two goals the difference here as uh, Wodonga go into attack this time through the agency of Stephen Headley. He's doing the difference, Jim, after half Yes, time. he's come on the ground on that half-forward flank and had the call over Terry Cross. Here's his kick, not a good one, holding up in the breeze. Over the back of the pack, getting to Wheeler. Almost a free kick to Wheeler. Picked up this time once again. Oh, beautiful tackle. Play on, says the umpire. There's a left foot kick. And there's a major on the board. Oh, kicked by Peter Sharp. And there's the 16th major on the board to the, Aubrey, uh, to the Wodonga side. And that's Peter Sharp's third major here this afternoon. And there's no doubt about it. It's goal for goal here in the final term, Graham. Yes, and I just said it a few moments ago, a great grand final, and uh, Sharpie's kicked uh, two, two bananas. The uh, second goal that he, the second goal for Wodonga today, in the first quarter there, he kicked a banana one, and that one too, as you saw on the screen, he just uh, wormed itself around with a little banana kick. There's the punch out from Leslie, going towards Dickinson, he gets the ball further afield. In comes Reed, trying to keep it ahead of him, can't do so. In comes the great player in Terry Doolan, and oh, he's been a great player, gets it across to Walsh. His kick's not a good one. In there is Wartman punching the ball away. Goes towards Byatt. He waits for it to bounce. Oh, he runs back into trouble. Gets away from it. Gets the ball onto his left foot up towards the forward zone. And a beautiful mark. And this fella down the last line of defence is starting to play well for Wodonga. It's a good move putting Walsh down there. Yes, my word it is. And there's a beautiful mark to read. A pressure mark in front of the pack. Now it's David Doolan. My word, they look alike. David Doolan with the left foot now up towards that full forward zone looking for Bakes and Bakes in the front position couldn't get it picked up by Byatt he tries to break loose and his kicks a poor one that's out on the full and this gives Wodonga the rest that they're looking for with a score here at the 20 minute mark of the final term Wodonga 16-11 107 Orby 13-11 89 I think time's running out for the Tigers Graham well there's 90 minutes gone Jim and uh certainly running out but gee i'll tell you what with this uh, breeze and the way the tigers are playing they've just all in with a chance even though the, the difference is those three goals and here comes leslie the big one down towards the full forward zone two players down there and once again it's this, this a great move by the uh, wodonga selectors walsh has saved them time and time again how come this boy played in the seconds most of the year <laughs> Uh, and it might have been a bit of a lucky move too because uh, I noticed Craig limped up to the forward line. Here's the ball holding up in the air as uh, it's Leslie that gets the punch out and Modonga holding on to this slender lead here, 107 to 109 at the 20 minute mark of the final term. Here's the throw in. Leslie 
Can't get the tap on that occasion. Picked up by Heather. Oh, Heather hand passes badly on that occasion. Straight to the Wodonga player. There's a push in the back. And the free kick going to go the way of Mark Ryan. Pushed in the back by Craig. 